How's it going, everybody? Happy Thursday afternoon. We have another burn class coming for you right now, and we're gonna start with that driven modified warm up. So I'm gonna sit up here. I'm gonna start by kneeling, right? I'm gonna sit my hips back to heels. I'm gonna put my left hand or my left elbow down between my knees, right hand behind my head. <sighs> Exhale and rotate. Make sure that I'm trying to stack my right shoulder on top of my left. <sighs> Exhaling on the way out. <sighs> Inhaling on the way in. Just a quick four. Right elbows down, left hand behind my head. <sighs> Exhale and rotate. <sighs> going to four, it's one more. There we go. So now I'm going into my quadruped or opposite lift offs, right? So my knees are down, hands are under shoulders. Right hand, left knee are going to raise up, balance for a second, and back down. Again, just a quick four each side. You want to make sure that you're feeling your body not rotating and not arching your back too much. So just a quick four. And now same position, I'm going to bring my knees up just to hover a little above the ground. Same thing. Right hand, left foot, one Mississippi, and down. Again, avoiding any rotation. Just letting your core activate itself by fighting rotation and fighting too much extension or arching in that back. Let's get one more. There we go. Kick those legs straight. We're going left leg up, right into our hip flow, rotating left. There we go. Hands come down. I'm going to push back. Left hand touch my right toe. Let that left hamstring, left groin stretch out. Turn back forward. I'm putting my right knee down. Tuck those hips underneath. Get that hip flexor. Again, watch over arching. Tuck that belt buckle up and under. There we go. Hands come back down, I kick my left leg back, bring my right foot up, rotating right. There we go. Hands are down, I'm pushing back, now my right leg is straight. So my right hamstring and right groin are stretching out. I turn back forward with my left knee down, tuck those hips again. There's the opposite hip flexor. And again, avoid any overarching. Strong in the midsection. There we go. I'm gonna kick my right leg back. Walk it to that low squat. Let's see where I end up. There we go. And we're going to do one more. So I crawl back out. Left foot's coming up. Rotating to the left. Hands are down. I push back. Stretch out that left hamstring, left groin. Back forward. Right knee's going down. Tucking hips under. There we go. Good, we're gonna get one more on the other side. So my left leg kicks back, right foot's up. Here we go. Nice, pushing it back. Stretch out that right hamstring, right groin. Back forward, tucking under, there we go. All righty, y'all, let's push it back to that low squat. Let's see where we end up. Chest up, hips low, and drive on out. There we go. So it's a driven modified warm up, and we're going to hop right into our workout. So in today's class, we are going to be using a little bit of equipment, but not too much. So I'm going to be using a glider. Again, if you have a hard uh, wood floor here, you can use something like a towel. If you're on carpet, a paper plate works well. I'm also going to be using a band here, and I'll show you some modifications if you don't have one. Okay. So what I'm going to start with, I'm going to get, use both of them, but I'm going to start um, right with my gliders and we have two exercises. So I have single arm push-ups. I'm going to show you those. That's going to be 30 seconds each side. Okay. So be careful. You don't want to jump to level two. You might want to hang out on level one for a while. I'll show you both. And then after that, we're going to be using it for our lunges, doing reverse lunges and side lunges on the same leg. So 30 seconds a piece, even though we're going through both sides. Okay. So I'm going to set up here. And what you're going to see is I'm going to turn sideways so you get a better view of this. My knees are down. I'm going to have my right hand on the glider, or I'll put my left hand to better see. And I'm going to make sure I'm in a kneeling push-up position. And my goal is to slide the glider straight as I lower down for a push-up and drive up and away. So I'm going to have 30 seconds here. I'm going to switch arms another 30 seconds. If you want to, you can go level two with the hips up, but that's definitely a lot harder. So I'm going to show level one at least for round one, and we're going to move on through. So I'm going to put 30 seconds on the clock. Grab your glider, your towel, your paper plate. My knees are down. My right hand is on the flat surface. Left hand is on the glider. 
Keep that core strong, 30 seconds, here we go. So I'm reaching out, and I drive back up. There we go. You know, if I need to, if this is causing any type of shoulder issue, I can just go a little bit, don't go as far. See if I can lower down and push away. See how that left elbow starts to bend a little bit? So if that's too much stress on your shoulder by going far out, you can limit the lever by a little bend and just keeping it a little safer for you. There we go. We get one more here. And there we go. I'm going to switch sides. So just switching arms here, tucking hips underneath, staying with strong core. But now I'm working my left arm more than right. Here we go. Lower down. <sighs> Press away. Most of you will notice and feel that we really only need to work this on, on down on my knees, right? 30 seconds. It's no joke per side. But if I wanted to, right, legs can go up and you can drive up and away. Most of us, let's stay here, core strong, okay? What we don't want to see is arching that back. Keep that back strong and up with some strong abs. <sighs> let's go. One more, two, one. Bam, there we go. Probably a little harder than you thought, but we got more coming. So now I'm standing up, okay? I have two exercises on the same leg. I'm gonna go reverse lunge here, sliding my foot backwards, and then I'm going right to a side lunge. So that glider foot stays on the floor, going backwards and then sideways. 30 seconds, three, two, there we go. So I reverse lunge, and I'm going side lunge to the side. Eat both of these uh, lunges, I can reach my right hand towards my left toe. It's gonna help position my knee and my hip for better execution of these exercises. So reverse lunge, I'm reaching to my toe. Side lunge, I'm doing the same thing. Boop. Make sure that you don't go with the glider. Stay away from that glider, reach it out. Back tall. And switch sides. So switching legs here. My right foot's flat, left foot's on the glider. Here we go. Lunging through, and then side lunge. Just like so. Again, hardwood floor, using a paper plate or a towel probably, and the carpet, paper plate works just as well. And we go, side lunge, reverse lunge, always loading into that hip, right? Here we go, two, one. There we go, y'all. So we're gonna hop right back into it. Okay, I'm going down, going onto my knees, getting right back to those push-ups. Again, I started with my left hand on. 30 seconds, three, two, let's go. Down there, all the way up. If you really see my back, that's what I'm looking at the most, okay? Don't wanna arch like this. Keep that back up and away with some strong abs. Stay strong, everybody. Make sure the pockets follow the shoulders down, two, and switch sides, there we go. What I want you to watch here is where my elbow goes. Okay, so watch my left arm, here we go. It's coming nice and high, like a normal push-up. Push it away. Again, the main focus here is that back. Drive it up and away. Good work, everybody. Here we go, three, two, and relax. There we go. I'm getting back to my feet. I'm going right back to it. So I have a reverse lunge, then to a side lunge. Three, two, let's do it. Reverse lunge, side lunge. Both of these, you're gonna feel loading into that back pocket, loading into those hips, drive through the floor. Reverse lunge, the knee bends. Side lunge, leg is straight. Here we go, y'all. Three, two, and switch sides. Woo! So, same thing on the leg. Three, two, let's do it. Lunge, side. Good job, everybody. We got a lot planned today, so we're gonna be moving quick. Stay with me, stay strong. 
Again, easy way to do this is reach for that toe. Hips go backwards on both of them, but reach for that toe. It's going to help line you up. Two. And relax. There we go. So that's our second round. Let's get through round three. I'm going right back down here, y'all. Woo! I'm going to start again with my left hand. Three, two, let's do it. Push up, get up and out. Again, keep that good control through your core and midsection. Make sure you don't reach and shrug that shoulder too much. A little bit on one side, but both shoulders shouldn't be shrugging. Only one's reaching ahead. Here we go, two, one, and switch sides, there we go. So again, if you watch my left shoulder here, right here, I don't want that going up into my neck. 30 seconds, let's do it. Slow and away. So my right shoulder might shrug, but my left shoulder is nice and low, staying good onto my rib cage. Push away. It's really that midsection, right? If I'm here, keep it strong. Get up and away. Here we go. Two. One. And relax. Woo! There we go, y'all. So we're going right back to our lunges. Reverse lunge, side lunge. Three, two, let's do it. Reverse lunge. Keep working hard, everybody. Showed up for a reason, right? Let's get better. Let's get better now. Almost there, everybody. Reverse lunge, drop it low. Give me one more side lunge. And switch sides. There we go. Woo! Let's get through this leg. We got water after this. Ready? Three, two. Let's do it. Reverse lunge, side lunge. So you see that I like to use my arms as opposites. That kind of just helps me personally, but I can do the same thing and just add that reach. So whatever feels comfortable for you, you can reach as if you're getting ready to run, athletic movement, or stay with the reach and position yourself right where you need. Here we go, two, one, and relax. Great job, everybody. Get a quick sip of water. We got two more circuits coming your way. Great job. Woo. Alrighty, everybody. So I'm gonna move that glider to the side now. Make sure you get the water you need. If you have it, grab a band as well, okay? Give you a couple more seconds. Get your stuff ready, get some water. Notice how when I start with this band, I have it all light out here, okay? Or laid out. I'm going to stand right in the middle for the most part, wherever I get just enough tension, okay? So see how I have some slack in that cord? I'm going to step somewhere where when I stand up, I have just enough. What I'm going to be doing here is I have a single arm banded fly. So if I face you a little bit more, I'm going to be pulling this elbow, this wrist, up high by my shoulder and back down. What I'm really working on here is pulling the shoulder blade back and down, not up into my neck. So I don't want one of these. I want to pull it back down in a way, opening up the front side of that shoulder, okay? So we have 30 seconds here, okay? I'm just gonna switch sides for another 30, okay? Right after that, we've done these before, I have my clock lunges, so I'm gonna be lunging at 12, one, two, three, all the way around, okay? So we've done this before, we have our band set up, we're gonna start here. I want you to step your left foot onto the band, okay? Right hand is on, and I'm in a slight lunge position. If you don't have a band, please set up the same, but bring that one arm back, shoulder blades in. I would like you to rotate those arms like we've done in the past and back down. So we've done this motion before, right? This is my fly, shoulder blade coming in. Rotate and alternate through that arm and pivot back down, okay? If you have the band, we're not doing the rotations, similar movement. So I'm on my band. If I don't have one, I'm still doing these. 30 seconds, three, two, let's do it. So I come here, pull the shoulder blade in and down, hold and back in. We gotta be careful with this one, right? I'm gonna turn towards you a little bit more. Pull that shoulder blade back and away. Long neck here. 
not driving up like this, okay? Hold it there and down. I can even reach my other arm to help counterbalance that. It's gonna help that coordination. As my left shoulder blade goes forward, my right goes back. I mean, one more. There we go. So, I'm just gonna turn this around a little bit. Same thing, right foot's on. I find just where there's out of slack and it's tense. Three, two, here we go. Right, so I'll fly, my arm's coming wider. I reach. Here we go. Think about your shoulder blades during this. One shoulder blade, my right one's going long and wrapping around, while my left is coming in towards my spine. Almost there, everybody. Keep working hard. Two. And relax. There we go. So, I'm going to move this out of the way. I have my clock lunges, okay? So stand pretty centered. Whoop, wipe that sweat. I'm going to lunge both legs towards 12, and then I'm making my way all the way back to 6, okay? So I'm going to start left leg stepping to 12, coming back to middle, right leg to 12, and then I'm branching it off, okay? Left leg's going to 11, right leg's going to 1, until we all get to 6. Ready? So I'm stepping forward first with both legs. Three, two, let's do it. Left leg 12 o'clock, and back, right leg 12 o'clock. Now left leg's going to 11. Right leg at one. So I'm just angling it, right? It's going to 10 o'clock. Two o'clock. Side lunge to nine. Side lunge to three. Here we go. Going back at eight. Four. Seven here. It's a T lunge. T lunge at five. Now I'm going to six. Straight back even. One more. There we go. Quick 30 seconds. Almost like a recovery, giving us some variability into those lunges. And I'm right back to my band. So, I stand on it just like so. Three, two, let's do it. Make sure your shoulder blade is pulling back and down, right? Right shoulder blade back and down. Left shoulder blade up and forward. Here we go. Three, two, and switch that. Here we go. You're noticing round two, a little quicker, a little less to worry about, right? We want to get in, and we'll get right out because we have another circuit coming after this. Set up right leg. Here we go. Here we go, everybody. Left shoulder blade, moving in and back towards the spine and low. Here we go, two, and relax. Here we go, y'all. Move that band to the side really quick. Right back to our clock lunges, let's not wait. Going forward, here we go. Left leg at 12, right leg at 12. Left at 11, right at one. Left to 10, right to two. And now I got side lunges, right? I'm going nine. Here we go, I'm going three. Good job, slight angle back. Here we go, seven, that's T lunge. Five, T lunge. Let's go right to six, straight back. Boom, there we go. Quick 30 seconds, everybody. All right, let's knock this out. Okay, we got round three. We know what we got, we got our flies. Single arm, I'm on my band. Three, I'm gonna get a little bit more tension here too. Let's do it. Stay strong, everybody. Notice how I have a slight lean forward, right? Don't be too vertical and straight up. You're gonna pull into that neck, hinge through a little bit. Create a better angle for the band to be pulled. And switch sides. Here we go. Alrighty. Got just enough tension. Three, two, let's do it. Here 
You're going to pull that arm wide, shoulder blade coming in towards the spine, right? Good job, everybody. Here we go. Three, two, and relax. All right, let's get moving and grooving. We got one last round of clock lunges. Going forward to 12. Here we go. Left leg, 12. Right leg, 12. Left to 11. Right's going one. You already know. 10 and 2. 9 and 3. Good job, everybody. Eight and five. Slight lunge. Slight angle. Here we go. T lunge to seven and five. Last one. Let's go to six. Straight back. There we go, everybody. Good job. Good job. Get a really quick sip. We got one more circuit coming your way, and it's going to be a fun one. Woo! Oh yes, everybody. We got a fun circuit three coming your way, okay? Let's get some stuff set up here. Let's grab this one over. Show you guys the best way to see this is I'm gonna probably change up my angle is I'm gonna do one sideways to see the rotation because what I'm gonna be doing here, I'm gonna be doing a lunge or a lunge, a plank. I'm gonna be rotating into a front plank as I slide that glider forward and I'm gonna return back into the side plank there, okay? So that's going to be all one side and all switch sides. I'm going to give you two different views here. Okay? So that's going to be our first exercise. The second one, I'm going to get my band, and I'm sure I'm just going to be knocking out some arms. So we have abs and arms in our last circuit, y'all. Standing on the band. And now these are going to be quick. It's a 30 second round. So I'm going to knock out speed curls, 15 seconds. And then I'm going to hinge, I'll show you sideways, hinge with elbows high for tricep kickbacks. So we're going to knock this out. We got abs and arms to finish this game up. Let's do it, y'all. So I'm going to face this direction as I'm facing you right now on my right elbow. And I'm going to grab this glider here, rotate forward into a, a plank, and then back to a side plank. So my left leg is currently on top. I'm going to put that in front, OK? Right elbow is down under my shoulder, not way out at an angle. Bridge it up. Three, two, let's go. So I rotate forward and back. Here we go. So I see how I turn my feet. I turn everything forward. Reach the glider, rotate back to side. Forward and back. See how I'm keeping my hips level. Jump and relax. There we go. So I'm switching sides here. What I want to do is I'm going to do it and turn towards you a little bit, okay? So I'm going to move this mat out of the way, slide it over so you can get a better view of me coming at you, okay? So now my left elbow's down. You can see from the top down now, my right foot's going in front. Hips are up. Let's do it, y'all. I rotate forward towards y'all and back to a side plank. Here we go. So if you're watching in the camera, See how I'm not trying to get my hips swaying a lot? I want to rotisserie myself in one line. That's right, I said rotisserie, folks. Turn it, rotate it, and cook it up. Here we go. Three, two, and relax. There we go, y'all. Woo, quick little plank there. Grab that band. I'm going to turn a little angle for y'all. So I'm my band here. We just got arms. 15 seconds of just straight curls, speed curls, okay? After that, I drop the hips back to a hinge, and I'm going tricep kickbacks, okay? 15 and 15 for one 30-second round. Three, two, get a little bit more tension. Let's go. It's not going to out. It's not going to be long. Get those biceps pumping. Only 15 seconds. And switch, right? So I'm hinged. My elbows are high. Extend those arms back for some triceps. It's kicking them back. It's quick. Work hard, everybody. Work hard. Not long. Let's go. Cross those triceps, too. And relax. Woo! It's moving that band out of the way. I'm going right back to my plank. 
Now I'm going to show you again, facing you, okay? I'm going to rotate towards you guys and right back. So I'm on my right elbow now. Left foot is in front. Three, two, let's go. So I rotate towards you all, right? And back. Imagine there's a wall behind me on my back here. I want to stay close to the wall, but I don't want to push into it. Good job, everybody. Almost there. Three, two, and switch sides. So I'm just switching arms here. Facing the other direction, right foot in front. Hips up, let's do it. Again, make sure your feet are turning, right? So right now my shoulders, my belt buckle, my feet are all turned forward. They all turn back to side and forward again. Good job, everybody. Stay strong. Keep working hard here. Here we go. Three, two, and relax. Great job. Woo! Wipe my sweat and grab that band. Let's do it. Whew. Only 15 seconds here, y'all. We gotta make it count. So I'm standing on, get some tension, speed curls. Three, two, let's do it. As many as I can, all the way down, all the way up. Let's go. You can alternate if you want to, but I need your arms moving. Good job, everybody. Bam. Now I'm going to kickbacks. Hips are back, elbows are back. Let's crush. Keep the shoulder blades pulled back, right? Straighten that arm with those triceps. Let's do it. Two. And relax. Woo! We only got one more round. One more round. Let's get some abs. Let's get some arms. Let's get out of here. All righty, y'all. Towards y'all again. Last side plank to planks here. Right elbow is down. Left hand going right onto my glider. Three, two, let's do it. Keep working hard, everybody. We almost there. Almost there, y'all. Keep strong. Keep it strong. Three, two, and switch sides. Love it. Woo. Pull that shirt over and let's do it. Right foot's in front, left elbow's down. Three, two, let's go, y'all. Make sure you're rotisserie, right? Just rotate. Stay on that. Here we go, y'all. Four, three, two, and relax. Woo! Get that glider to the side. All right, everybody. Let's knock it out. Last set here, okay? I'm standing on my band. Get my speed curls. Get the biceps going. Three, two, let's do it. Woo. Only 15 seconds, y'all. Get those arms pumping. We came to get better. Summer's already here. Let's do it. And right back to it. Kick back. Let's go. All right, everybody. Stay strong. Keep working. Three, two, bam, and done. Woo! Throw that band to the side. Great work, everybody. Great work. I hope you enjoyed this class. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Get updates on all of our content. If you want to also follow us on Instagram, follow us at DRVN Unlimited. We want to see what you're doing. Tag us in some stuff. Love to follow you back. We hope to see you soon. Let's knock out this quick cool down stretch. Get you out of here. Great work, everybody. So I'm on my back. Pull my right knee towards my chest. One, two, three, and four straight. Pull it across, other arm is open. Breathing in through the nose, 
Out through the mouth. Give me one more. Great job, everybody. Other legs up. One, two, three, and four. Pull it across. There we go. And one more. There we go. All righty, let's do a quick hip flexor. Right knees down, tuck those hips. There we go. Again, if you have any pictures, videos of you working out or just at home making it through, we would love to see it. Send it to us at media at drvnunlimited.com. We would love to see any photos, any videos that you're doing at home. We miss you all. Can't wait till we can see you. And we would love if you got any video to see you there. Get this other hip. And relax. Great job, everybody. Thanks again for joining us today on this Thursday. Hopefully you enjoyed the workout. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at drivenunlimited.com, and we'll see you next time.